So here I am at sites.google.com. All you need to do is click New Google Sites, and then go down here to the bottom where it says Create New Site and Create a New Site. Now this is what it's going to say, create a title, and then also create a title there. That's how you're going to find it in Google Drive. It'll create it in Google Drive so you can find it over and over again. Now before we get going, we really need to understand the difference between a web page and a website. They're two different things. So inside of this box is our website, and a website starts with a home page, that's a web page, and off that web page you've got other web pages, and off those web pages you can even have sub pages as well. So website, web pages. So now I'm going to create my different web pages by clicking pages here. Just type in the name of my first page and a second page, let's call it area. And I can also create sub pages. So I might just click triangle area. Uh, now to turn it into a sub page, I'm going to click it, drag it up, and you can see it's just sort of connecting itself to area. Now up here, you can see I've got my uh, navigation bar, home, trigonometry, area, and it just drops down here. So now I'm just going to create an individual page. Here's my home page, and I can insert anything I want. So I've just double clicked there, and I'm going to insert text. And I'm just going to type out that text, welcome to my maths page, and I'll just sort of resize it, put it there. I can create a title, so it's a nice big bit of text. Now, I might also insert a YouTube clip. So I've just clicked on YouTube there. I'm just going to search for a math clip, anything will do, uh, and I'm just going to insert that one. You can also search by URL, so if you've got a particular one you want to use. Now you can see I'm dragging it around, it resizes it, puts it exactly where it needs to be. Now I can insert anything from Drive, so I'm just going to click that, and maybe look for a PDF. So I'll just find a PDF. Now just double click it, and it'll go there. Alright, so I can click it, resize it, make it nice and big. Our students will be able to scroll through it using that little scroll bar there. Now I can also insert a calendar, so I've just clicked calendar there, I'm going to search for maths calendar. There it is. I'll click on that, double click it, it'll pop up here, and I can put it wherever I want. Now if I double click on it, it'll put the settings menu there, and I can get rid of titles. I can also change it from view mode, from agenda to week, which is how our students are used to looking at their calendars. Alright, let's take a look at how it looks. Click the little eyeball here, preview. That's how it's going to look to anyone who goes to the website. You can also see what it's going to look like on a tablet just by clicking down there or on a phone. It resizes. It's really, really clever. All right, let's close that up now. So the last step is to publish it. Click publish. Now it's going to be called sites.google.com forward slash nudgy.qld.edu.au and then whatever you type on the end. I'm going to come up with a unique identifier, MAA2A, class code 2016, and my name, JSP, and I'm going to click Publish. Uh, let's take a look at what happens if you send someone that link. There it is there, site.google.com forward slash nudgy.qld.edu, etc, etc. And they can see that website. Now, if you want parents to see it, make sure you click anyone on the web can view in your publish settings, otherwise only the students can see it. Click save there, send parents the link, and you're good to go. The last thing you can do is collaborate on a website by pressing this button here and sharing it with either an individual or maybe a whole class. Clicking that and sending, that way your whole class can work on a website or maybe just you and a couple of other teachers. That's Google Sites, enjoy.